Hey there! Have you ever visited a website where words are all over the place? Reading websites like this is very tough. The jungle of words will just confuse you 100%. Now watch this. We've added some headings, made important stuff bold and added some italics. The text is much better to read now, right? But how do we transform a chaotic text like this into a structured one using HTML? Let's learn it step by step, so after this video you will be a text structuring master. Wow! Let's dive into the HTML code now. The most basic way to structure text with HTML is using text paragraphs. We can create a text paragraph in HTML by using the p tag. Let's create a little text paragraph and have a look how it will be displayed in the browser. Text paragraphs alone don't make a good structured text. So we will learn now how to use headings and text paragraphs together to structure your texts. Headings in HTML are numbered, starting with h1, which is used for the main heading of every web page. There should only be one h1 heading per page. Then h2 and h3 headings are used for chapters and subchapters. So let's add the h1 heading of the page followed by a text paragraph. We will open the HTML file in the browser now and have a look at the elements we have just created. Next we will add an h2 heading for our first chapter. And again we will add another text paragraph below the heading. Have a look at our web page in the browser now, it already looks very cool and structured. Chapter 2 will have two subchapters, so we use h3 to add another heading and a text paragraph below it. Now we really can see how headings in HTML work. The higher the number of the heading tag is, the lower the importance of the heading within the page. For example you can see that h3 headings have a lower text size than h2 and h1 headings. It's time to add the second subchapter of chapter 2. So we just repeat the steps and add another h3 heading followed by a text paragraph. To finish chapter 2 we just create another chapter and call it chapter 3. So we add another h2 heading below the last text paragraph of chapter 2. This chapter won't have subchapters, so we just add a text paragraph below the h2 heading. Great, we've just finished our first web page structured with headings and text paragraphs. Structuring your text with HTML this way will ensure that your users have a great experience when reading your texts. Next up, we will have a look on how to change the appearance of individual parts of text. For example, how to make text bold to highlight its importance. We can make a text bold in HTML using the B tag. Have a look at the browser and as you can see the text appears in bold. To make text italic with HTML we use the I tag. And to make a text appear smaller we use the small tag of course. To make a text appear strike through or deleted we use the del tag. A subscript is a text which appears a little bit below the normal line of the rest of the text. To create subscripts with HTML we use the sub tag. The opposite of subscripts are superscripts. To create a superscript text we use the super tag. And finally to mark a text just like using a highlighter on paper we can utilize the mark tag. Until now we only have created black texts. But what if we want to give our texts a fancy color like red or green? We can use inline CSS to achieve that. CSS is a styling language which is often used together with HTML. With CSS we have total control over the appearance of our web pages. The style attribute is used to add inline CSS to any HTML element. We want to change the color of this text paragraph to red. So let's add the CSS rule color red. Let's repeat this and add another text paragraph but this time it will be green. Let's have a look in the browser and we will see we have two text paragraphs, one in red and one in green. The final thing we will learn in this video is the so-called pre-tag. Text formatted with the pre-tag will remain all the spaces, line breaks and tabs. To demonstrate this let us create a text with many spaces and line breaks and then observe it in the browser. As you can see the format of the text looks exactly the same like in the text editor. Now we want to compare the result of a pre-tag to a normal text paragraph. So we copy and paste the text from the pre-tag to the text paragraph and open our browser again. 
we will see that the text paragraph will ignore all spaces and line breaks, other than the text formatted with the pre-tag. Okay, now you know the most important things about structuring your text with HTML. We have reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you like the series so far, give the video a like and subscribe to our channel to not miss out on any content about learning to code.